In less than 12 hours, people who have lost loved ones to impaired drivers will go before lawmakers in Madison. It's the first public hearing for a series of bills that if passed would toughen the state's OWI laws. In tonight's Project Drive Sober, Shannon Sims live at the state capitol with one mother's fight. Shannon. Steve and Carol, Sheila Lockwood lost her son Austin last June in a drunk driving crash. She's one of the many who will be here tomorrow pleading with lawmakers for tougher OWI legislation. A wall of love. It's my kids. I've always taken a lot of pictures of them, and it started very young, as you can see. Photos of her children fill Sheila Lockwood's Illinois home. She's grateful for those snapshots because now they are how she remembers her oldest son, Austin. This is Austin here, big brown eyes. Last June, Austin spent a night at a friend's cabin up north in Three Lakes, Wisconsin. And I said, okay, um, be safe. Love you. And he said, love you. And that's the last text I ever got from him. Hours later, Austin was in an SUV that crashed into a tree, hitting so hard it stripped the bark and crushed the entire dash and door onto him. Two police officers delivered the news no mother wants to hear. They said um, there was um, an accident and it was Austin. Police say Austin's friend, Eric Laban, was driving. According to the criminal complaint, two hours after the crash, Laban blew a .117. He's free on bond as the state investigates the crash. It's Laban's first OWI offense. Photos posted on social media weeks after the crash show Laban at a party, a baseball game, and celebrating his college graduation. Sheila gets angry when she sees those images of a young man simply enjoying life. You killed somebody. You murdered someone and there's no inconvenience to you at all. She is one of many victim advocates pushing for tougher OWI legislation, including a bill that would criminalize a first-time offense. I spend my vacation days going to the Capitol in Wisconsin to try to fight for laws that will eliminate anyone else from having to do to go through what we're having to go through. If Lebon is convicted, he faces up to 25 years in prison. All that was taken away, so 25 years isn't much. I only got Austin for 23. 23 years of life now committed to memories, mementos, and photos, and a harsh reminder of what will never come. There's no more waiting for him to walk in the door. And a wish that anybody who drinks gets a safe ride home. Wisconsin, all we want is just, we want to put the, I want, everyone to have the same fear as I do. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to hurt somebody. Now we reached out to Laban's lawyer who said he couldn't comment on the case. Tomorrow, the Project Drive Sober team will have live coverage starting at 4 and 6 o'clock.